Hi, this is Pixel Cave. In this video, we want to share a few tips that might be helpful if you just started out in Conan Exiles, are still only a few hours in, or are planning to play the game. While we touch base on some core elements of the game, keep in mind that this is not a complete beginner's guide in regards to gameplay, but rather a collection of tips about things that are good to know and which are maybe not that obvious to newcomers. Tip 1. Water in the desert. Let's begin with something that's easily overlooked and can be helpful right at the start of the game. After character creation and the cutscene that introduces you to the game, you will begin walking down a path through the desert. You can find a sealed water skin very early on, lying next to a journal, close by on a rock or a stone structure. It's pretty small and easily missed. Once picked up and equipped on your hotbar, you will see that it even includes a little water. Helpful for the first few steps when you have to make your way through the desert. While you can craft a water skin at level 1, you don't have to spend any resources on this one, and worst case it's a spare in your inventory. Tip 2. Spend your points now, reset later. Once you are starting to get busy surviving and progressing, you will notice that you can earn XP for pretty much everything. For instance, by gathering resources, through crafting, or by defeating all types of enemies. You will even be gaining a tiny bit of passive XP by simply hanging around in the game. Every time you level up, you also gain attribute and knowledge points. So make sure to regularly spend those points to learn more crafting recipes and to get more powerful. If you are uncertain what to spend your points on, don't worry. There are ways to reset points for both attributes and knowledge through various potions a bit later down the line. Tip 3. Explorer Since we are talking about XP, Conan Exiles is a game that not only invites exploration, but also rewards you for it. Not only will you gain XP for exploring a new location or point of interest, but as well for completing journey steps. Journey steps are a great way of gaining additional XP and also provide you with a little bit of guidance to what to do in game, in case you feel lost. So get on your journey and explore the game world, its inhabitants and also the general game mechanics. Tip 4. Journey Step Clues One more thing about journey steps. This is something we figured out relatively late in game, but it can definitely be helpful throughout your leveling experience. When checking on your journey page, you will notice that most uncompleted steps are displayed with a question mark and it's unclear what they will require. However, and here's the tip, once you completed all steps from one chapter, all steps from the next chapter will be revealed. We really wish we would have known about this one sooner. Tip 5. Dying and respawning. Before we get too excited about leveling and discovering new stuff, one really obvious tip, but one which, believe it or not, even the best of us forgets again and again. Don't forget to put down a bedroll on a regular basis when adventuring. Dying is generally no fun. If you aren't bound to a bedroll or bed, you spawn back in the desert where your adventure began. And you definitely don't want to run all the way back from there or from your faraway base to your body to recover your things. If you have a bedroll close to where you have died, you can reach your body more easily and hopefully recover all of your items. Better safe than sorry. Tip 6. There is more to tools. Tools for harvesting resources are a must. After starting with collecting for instance stone and fiber by hand, you should craft tools as soon as possible in order to get more resources faster. And while the use of most tools might be obvious, what you get when harvesting resources or bodies can vary depending on which tool you use. For example, the hatchet is best for chopping wood, 
but using a pick when harvesting trees yields more bark. And while the sickle, learned at level 10, is the obvious choice for harvesting fiber and other plants, it can also be used to harvest spider eggs or spiders for an increased yield of gossamer. Try experimenting with different tools to see whether you get more or different resources with the one or the other. Another thing to keep in mind is that the better tools you use, the more resources are harvested. For instance, the next set of tools after stone is iron and so forth. Tip 7. Early weapon upgrade. Should you still explore the southern area around the river? Here's a quick tip where to get a recipe for some slightly better weapons early on. When you venture to the end of the river in the west, you will discover a camp of the Dafari tribe. In the very beginning of that said camp, on the left hand side, you can find a bone-like weapon lying on a bench in front of a tent. Interact with it and you will learn the knowledge for Dafari weapons. With luck, you might be able to dash in and run the attackers off without a fight. The weapons might not be the most significant upgrade, but everything helps, at least until you can craft the next better tier of weapons. Tip 8. Building. How to get started. A few tips to get started with building in Conan Exiles, one of the core features of the game. In order to build any type of structure in the game, you need a construction hammer. You can learn how to craft one by unlocking the initial building skill for Apprentice Mason. Once the hammer is equipped, you can access the construction menu and select your unlocked building pieces. Since the build system has been revamped in its entirety, this might not be as obvious as one might think, especially for returning players who still remember the old way of building without the hammer. You can learn more about the construction hammer and building modes in our build system guide. Tip 9. A word about decay and stability. Now that you have built your first little base, it's worth mentioning that building pieces decay over time. Also unlocked with the apprentice mason knowledge is the recipe for a repair hammer. If you equip the repair hammer and hover over your placed building pieces, you can see the current decay timer. If you or a clan member are close to the structure, the decay timer refreshes, but starts counting down once out of range or offline. The more and the higher tier building pieces are connected, the longer the decay timer. However, the current maximum is 7 days, so it's worth keeping an eye on your structures. If the timer runs out, your building pieces will lose stability and will vanish. A last tip in regards to the repair hammer. Should your buildings get damaged, you can also see the required resources to repair them. Furthermore, building pieces also require stability when placed, meaning you can't build unlimited in any one direction without connection to the ground. The repair hammer will also indicate the available stability for any given piece. You cannot add to any piece that has a stability of 20 or less. Later, you can invest in your expertise attribute. If you choose the structural integrity perk in the end, you will be able to build a fifth ceiling before stability drops below 20. Tip 10. Survive the sandstorm. If you haven't been caught up in a sandstorm while adventuring yet, then you've been lucky. They won't start appearing before you have crossed further into the desert at least once. After that, they might even surprise you in the southern river area. Sandstorms are randomly occurring weather events that wreak havoc to anyone out in the open. Early signs of an approaching sandstorm are flying debris and darkening skies. At later levels, you can learn how to craft gear to protect yourself, but without it, your only protection will be to seek shelter. You can either build a simple base or seek shelter in the environment, like caves and crevices. Just make sure that your shelter bar shows as fully filled up and you'll be safe and can wait until things calm down. Tip 11. Get a follower. 
as early as level 10, you will be able to capture enemy NPCs and convert them to followers. Unlock the Thrall Taker knowledge that will provide you with everything you need to know. Knock out enemies, drag them home, and convert them in the Thrall Wheel. Thralls exist in 4 tiers, with 4 being the strongest named NPCs. However, at the beginning, you shouldn't worry too much about finding higher tier thralls. It's better to have a tier 1 follower fighting by your side than none at all. The same goes for thralls that have a profession and can be placed in your workstation. Every tier provides a bonus, for instance armor stats or crafting speed. Last but not least, followers can help you with carrying items in their inventory. Whether you have a human or an animal follower, you can learn how to become an animal tamer at level 13. This can be extremely useful while traveling or gathering resources. Especially since followers can't get encumbered and are only limited by their inventory slots, not weight. Tip 12. Helpful Ghosts Have you seen a ghost lately? Ghosts can be found in various locations throughout the Exad lands. They usually provide you with a glimpse into the past and what happened to them at that location. Most of the time, ghosts are an indication for something that can be found in the immediate vicinity of the ghost or close by. There are even some ghosts that move to a specific spot where a secret is hidden. What you can find varies, but besides lore, you can discover new emotes, crafting recipes or chests in the environment. So make sure to explore the area or full of ghost appearances once you encounter them. And that's all for this guide. We hope we could teach you a few new things or could refresh your memory. If you'd like to see more content like this from us, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe or even leave a comment.